Hello guys, it's Friday and we are staring at yet another exciting week of tech because next week we're going to see a lot of exciting devices. There's going to be the iQ90, the OnePlus 10T and a few other devices which I cannot talk about as of now. So all those videos you're going to get on Fiber and Fiber Hindi. So stay tuned on the channel. Uh, as far as whatever has happened in the past week or so, I have had a lot of interesting questions from you guys which I'm going to try and address in this video. This is our weekly Q&A video. Let's get techie where I take up all your questions. I try and address them uh, in the simplest way possible. So let's start today's video. First question I have today is from Vinod Chauhan. Sir, India may 5G cub aega and I mean I think this is the most asked question over the last week because India has started its 5G spectrum auction and uh, four companies have entered the whole auction process and we know from what we are hearing and from what we know uh, most likely 5G rollout will start between September and October this year from what I know all the telecom operators have the infrastructure ready they are uh, you know sort of itching to roll out the uh, 5G connectivity just that once this auction process is complete we'll also have clarity over which bands you know will be allotted and which will be available in India so once you have that clarity then of course the, the whole connectivity and the network will be rolled out very soon initially it will be limited to a few country a few cities but then over a period of uh, let's say 5-6 months you will get to see 5G in more cities as well next question I have is from Prasanta YouTube channel I think he's also a YouTuber like uh, us only. So he's asked Google Pixel 6a charging consa charger consa lagaye basically. So uh, Prasanta, you can use any Type C uh, USB charger with the Pixel 6a. It will work with anything perfectly fine. Just that the phone only supports 18 watt fast charging. In case you're planning to buy a charger, if you don't have a Type C USB charger, then you can check out any third party charger. A lot of companies that make chargers these days. So you can use that. I'm kind of disappointed though that the phone does not support wireless charging because it's sort of important for at least me uh, now. Next question is from Anuj Purohit. I have an ROG 5. Should I change it and buy Pixel 6a? Why? Why would you want to do that? So ROG 5, uh, I'm assuming you bought it only last year. So it's only been one year of using this phone and it's a pretty capable device. Now, I don't see any reason to switch to Pixel 6a from just a one year old device. Also, ROG is a much powerful phone as compared to the Pixel 6a. The hardware is much better. Uh, if you would have been using maybe a entry level device, then I would have recommended you the Pixel 6a. And then from ROG 5, I don't see any sense of, you know, switching in just one year. Varun Venkatesan is asking me, so, so many 7, 7, 8 uh, Snapdragon phones from each brand. Could you suggest the best phone for 20k budget? So around 20k, I would say the iQ Z6 Pro is probably the best Snapdragon 778 uh, phone that at least we have reviewed. Uh, Simran has done a detailed review of that phone on our uh, Hindi channel. She in fact uh, compared that with the Samsung Galaxy M53 as well. So you can watch that video as well. And uh, from, from the performance point of view, I think we found the iQ Z6 Pro at its price point on the most capable devices. So that is one device that I would recommend you and you should consider that. Last question is from TRMN8. YouTube Shorts have expanded the platform to so many new creators. Can you give some tips for someone wanting to start a channel? Also, do you think YouTube tags still matter in 2022? So first I'll address the YouTube Shorts thing. Yes, of course. I think uh, not just YouTube Shorts, but if you look across platforms, be it Instagram, be it uh, uh, your Snapchat or uh, Twitter. So all these platforms have somehow, you know, been pushing the short video platform content much more than the long uh, form as we knew it. So even YouTube is just like your Instagram Reels uh, has been pushing the YouTube shots. And I think a lot of people also find it easy to consume content because you need only a minute to watch a fun and a quirky video and you get all the information within that. So that's why I think YouTube has been uh, focusing a lot more on shots. Uh, the second question was tips for anybody starting a new channel. See guys, content is the king. Nothing else can make a channel fly if the content is not strong. So just keep that in mind. Also, you'll have to be very persistent because setting up a new channel and making it fly is not easy. So you'll have to keep doing the same thing day in, day out. Do not get disappointed if your videos are not getting views. Go back to the drawing board, see what is working, what is not and keep doing have that consistency and the results will come now as far as the last question goes about the youtube tags yes of course they matter see even we when we make a video we pay 
very close attention to the tags that we are using in our videos. So I think you should not completely neglect. Yes, it's not the single most deciding factor when it comes to the video's reach. But if you combine the tags with a good headline content, your uh, production value is good, then of course your video shines. So guys, this was it. These were the questions that I had for today's video. I hope to see more questions from more people for next week. So do put in your questions. Thank you so much for joining.